A 30% increase in speed? Yes, please. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and overclock uh, an LC475 mainboard from uh, 25 megahertz up to 33 megahertz. This is a relatively easy modification to do. Um, I've uh, been thinking about whether to go to try going to 40, but ultimately I don't have access to the components that I'd need to go to 40. So 33 it is. Quick and easy. It's you know it's a 30% speed boost or something. It's pretty good. So there's your LC mainboard upside down. I've removed all the components, and uh, if you flip it over, this area is where we want to look. There is a little set of resistors there. I'm going to get this right, there we go. And what we want to do is... This camera stand is fantastic. Is we want to move... This one, so the second one on the bottom row, over to there. So we're going from R21 to R24. And we're moving R25 over to R22. And this will uh, cause the board to run at 33 megahertz instead of its rated 25. Uh, in the process, um, also overclocking the CPU. Or in my case, underclocking the CPU because I have a 40 megahertz um, 04068K chip. So my soldering iron's here preheated and I haven't stepped on it today so my foot's feeling pretty good so these are pretty small components ideally you'd want to use a soldering pencil I only have uh, well all I have is giant soldering irons so that'll have to do so tin your summer over here at the moment I've got the ceiling fan on and boy, does it blow the solder away from your face. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. I should always do soldering with the fan on. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just moving those two around. So I've got a pair of tweezers. Um, hopefully they'll be small enough. Now these are not, because they're resistors, they're not uh, polarized. Damn, these things are tiny. How am I meant to... pressure behind it. Now these are glued down, you can see little red dots underneath them, which is just annoying. Oh God. Well, one of the pads started lifting. I'm using a 40 watt soldering iron. You probably don't want to be using something that powerful. So there's a the little resistor. So I just need to poke him over. Oh wait, the pads can lift. Aha, that's perfect. I just want to poke this one down. Now you'll probably want to tin the, uh, Sorry, reflow the solder on the base. The last time it was soldered was probably wave soldered back in the early 90s. Now you'll be interested to know I actually have tried this mod before as a, as a teenager and uh, it did not end well. All I remember is it didn't get any video so I'm guessing I tried 40 megahertz and it failed and then I gave up or I broke something. Yeah, that's what kids do. Now I'm grown up and an adult. Seriously, why does this chip not flip over? Yes. So not polarized, so you can pop it in either way. They do have markings on them. 
if you really want to have a close look. I recommend a magnifying glass though, because it is damn tiny. No, that doesn't look too bad, just add blobs of solder to it. Oh god. It's sticking up. Go back down. Oh. It's crooked. Victory! <sighs> Always check your work. What am I trying to solder that to? Is that even connected? Yeah, it's connected enough, isn't it? Just add a bit more solder. There we go, a solid connection. Solid enough anyway. <laughs> and just simply repeat for the other side. <laughs> oh, Shane, you make it sound so easy. I even do this. Need smaller tweezers, that's what I need. Break the hell out of the traces on the main board. Solder pads. It's all good. Another resistor freed. Reflow the pads. Actually, I had a question if that makes it easier at all. Make them shine. I think this board's actually either lived most of its life near the ocean, there's a fair bit of what appears to be salt water on it. I should really give it a bit of a clean with some isopropyl or uh, even methylated spirits over here in Australia where our methylated spirits is very different to uh, the American variety. Pretty good. Oh, that's even better.
I can't imagine the uh, amount of heat I'm applying to these is doing them much good. But that should be it. And that is how to solder uh, resistors on really badly. Look at that one on the right. That's terrible. On the left went a bit better. But the one on the right looks like it got mangled. Mm. Oh, it's so crooked. Still, it should function, so we'll give this a go and uh, see if we're running at 33 megahertz now. Piece of cake.